Hey guys, Spencer here, and this is going to be a video I've been waiting to do for a very long time. This is going to be a review and a demo. We're going to walk through the brand new ClickFunnels 2.0 dashboard. Now, a lot of you guys know I've made a lot of videos about ClickFunnels 1.0. They've been out for a long time. It was absolutely time for a major upgrade, and in their case, a complete overhaul where they basically just scrapped the code from 1.0 and they started all over, which is really what they needed at this point. So I'm not gonna waste any time or anything like that. We're just gonna dive right in. We're gonna show you on the screen. We're gonna walk through this uh, completely new software. Honestly, you wouldn't even know that you were looking at ClickFunnels if they didn't have a ClickFunnels logo in the corner. They've completely redone everything. Now, real quick before we start, yes, I am participating in their launch. It's tomorrow. And yes, I'm doing bonuses and all that fun stuff. So if you're just interested in that stuff, we'll leave links down below to a page that explains bonuses. We'll leave links down below directly to sign up for this. Um, and that's probably what I should say is that at least for the first week as they're launching this, you don't sign up directly for ClickFunnels 2.0. You actually sign up for the challenge. They're doing a five-day business challenge, and uh, that's going to be kind of in junction with a 30-day trial to ClickFunnels 2.0. So if you want to get started building with ClickFunnels 2.0, you actually have to sign up for that challenge, and then they'll actually help you build that first funnel. And so we'll leave a link down below to that as well, but just know you sign up for the challenge to get automatic access to ClickFunnels 2.0. Now let's dive in and let's just have a look here on the screen at, uh, at this. You can see here if you're a ClickFunnels customer already and you're familiar with their dashboard, this doesn't look anything like ClickFunnels. A big upgrades in terms of overall UI. So now it looks a lot more like a traditional software. The UI kind of makes a lot more sense to you if you use a lot of different online business softwares. It, it much more kind of falls in line with those. So I'm going to show you kind of all the general structure and then we'll look individually at everything as we go. Uh, the whole idea of this is that it truly will eliminate everything that you need to run your online business. So ClickFunnels before, they, they really focused on funnels. They had kind of a course builder, right? They had uh, email marketing software. They had affiliate software. It was all built in there. But really, they put 90% of their time and their quality into the actual fun funnel builder. And the result was a lot of the uh, other parts of the software did not work nearly as well and, and just weren't worth it at that point. But, but they're really trying to bring it all into one big, cohesive, solid software right now. And so you can see here, it's not just the funnels. The funnels aren't like the core of it. It's your business. It's a CRM. It wants, they want to run your entire business. So you can see right here, uh, you, you can build an entire site right here, meaning your site, your blog, a customer center, funnels, individual pages if you want to run to those. Um, you can run courses, host courses, and things like that in there. You can add products, and products can be uh, site-wide, meaning you can sell products all over. You don't have to add products individually like you used to have to. It can be a single product that can sell all over on your site, on your funnels, on your blog, uh, places like that. Uh, then uh, they've really, really improved their, uh, their front-facing management, meaning when you log in and you want to see orders, you want to see analytics, you want to see all that stuff, right, in a bunch of different ways, they've improved that with orders and with analytics. So these two orders and analytics where you can go in and actually see what's happening in your business. Where, where they really start to shine from 1.0 is when they get into marketing, um, where they start to build uh, these workflows, uh, which is essentially email marketing, but with kind of the some other pieces that we'll talk about. Um, but they have a whole, they've really just outdone themselves on, on this part, I think. So the first thing you would do once you set up a workspace inside of this ClickFunnels 2.0 account is you would customize your site, right? They wanna run everything, not just a single funnel or not just your funnels in general. So you can see they'll uh, have you build a home page, they'll have you build a storefront, a blog home, a customer facing center, a course home page, your own page not found, all this stuff where you're essentially creating everything right inside of this ClickFunnels 2.0 software. The actual page builder itself is fairly similar to what it used to be. They've added a bunch of options and kind of simplified it. Uh, but that was one of the things they did really well in ClickFunnels 1.0 was a really simple builder that you could really whip out pages quick. And so they tried to keep some of that while also upgrading, adding some options, making it a little bit easier to use. So if you're familiar with 1.0, I'm just going to kind of scroll down and let you kind of see all the stuff you do here. It looks very similar to 1.0. They were one of the first ones to kind of make it very easy to edit on mobile, desktop, all that stuff. But now you can start doing universal things like site-wide things like menus. You can see right here, I can go up here and I can edit this section, and this is a universal section. Okay, so when I make changes to this, this is my, my header of my website, and so it, it shows up on all the pages that we make, and it shows up on the home page and the course page and everything. Now, I'm not gonna focus too much on blogging. I went through all their blog creation stuff, and uh, you definitely can build a blog inside of ClickFunnels 2.0. I would still say I personally am gonna use uh, WordPress for my blog specifically. I think WordPress has spent years kind of creating, and, and there's so much more that you can do inside of WordPress, but if you just wanna build a blog and it's not a core part of your business like it is for me, uh, they can make a nice clean blog. You can see you got a side here and then different posts right here and you can customize it in a matter of minutes just using 
that a traditional page builder that we're looking at right there. And then you can manage all of your blog posts right here. And you can see when you go to create a blog post, similar to WordPress, um, just probably less options is title, summary, featured image. You can make it public in a draft, choose authors. Uh, so it's kind of a simplified version of WordPress, which honestly for a lot of people is probably better if you're not really into WordPress. It's a pretty complicated platform to learn and can take a lot of time and, and honestly be very stressful at times. Now, as before, where ClickFunnels 1.0, Funnels was definitely where they shined. With 2.0, Funnels is once again where they're shining. They're just adding uh, this workflows piece to it, which is essentially email marketing. So you can see here their, their funnel builder has become quite a bit different. Now it's, it's much more visualized and you can kind of see the customer flow much better. Other things that are really cool that I'm watching is over here on the left, you can see as you build out this you know, five, six, seven, ten step funnel, whatever it is for you, uh, you got this cool little zoom in, zoom out option here. So you can kind of big picture, little picture, uh, the whole funnel that you're building. Uh, they also built in email marketing visually. So you can see right here, I can take this step, which is an order form, right? And I can add workflows to it. And workflows uh, are essentially email marketing with a, a few cool tweaks to them. Um, but so I could take this test workflow that I created, right? And I add this workflow, and then I can start triggering this workflow based on how these, these people, these customers are interacting with this page. So if they order, I can have a workflow that you know, gives them the product or something like that. If they opt in, I can have the workflow that gives them what they opted in for. I really like that if they have a page view, meaning if they know the information, if ClickFunnels knows uh, that someone goes on this page, we can actually change what happens here, right? We can change the workflow, we can change the emails that go out if somebody views the page versus if they actually opt in versus if they actually order, right? We can actually change the email sequence that goes out to them, which is really, uh, really, really cool. And it will track them as they go through a funnel. And so uh, once they put in their email address, right, then it knows if they've purchased or if they're doing something else. And we can tweak our marketing to them based on what they do in that funnel. It's also a lot easier to add products and stuff like that. As you can see, I can click right here on this order form. I can easily add a product. I can easily make it an order bump. And those products, like we talked about earlier, are universal, meaning that people can uh, just add products once and then add them to a dozen funnels that they want in a really easy way, uh, which was kind of a problem with 1.0. And then their course builder, which again was kind of a weaker part of 1.0 uh, where the focus was really funnels. They've, they've really worked hard because they know how many people are using their product to sell courses. And so they've really tried to up their game in the online course game. You can see right here, we'll click into this test course right here. And you can see on this course page, I can create modules within modules within modules all over right here. Uh, you can see I can make this a uh, much cleaner course where I have modules and inside of my modules I have lessons. Now a couple of big upgrades from the way they previously used to do courses uh, is one, I believe you host the videos inside of ClickFunnels now. So before you would put them in YouTube or Vimeo or uh, Wistia or things like that, I believe you can now host them inside of one central asset section that we'll show you a minute inside of ClickFunnels 2.0. Uh, the other thing is uh, lessons complete, meaning people will mark lessons complete as they move through. And then you will actually be able to go into enrollments and in your analytics up here, and you'll actually be able to see how many users are finishing your course and be able to see their flow and things like that and what users haven't finished the course and, and how they've interacted essentially. And so a lot of improvement on the analytics side of the course, a lot of improvements um, for the students to be able to kind of move through the course in a more natural flow. And then I think just improvements overall in, in making it easier for you to host and, and do it all inside of one platform instead of moving around between platforms. Then you can kind of start moving down. You can see I, I've tested a bunch of different things, played with a bunch of different products and stuff like that. So you can go in here, you can add products, images, all that kind of stuff. They've really improved this as well. There were a lot of complaints with taxes and other things with products before in ClickFunnels. So besides the fact that we can now add products uh, to you know, site wide and then be able to easily uh, move them around different funnels and things like that. Um, there's a lot more options in terms of taxable, right? I can click taxable and I can create tax IDs and do all that fun stuff. I personally don't do much with that, thank goodness, but I know a lot of people that have struggled with that. Um, we can also, just inside of our product section, we can now start uh, helping ClickFunnels understand what to do when someone buys a product. So we don't have to always tell ClickFunnels, we just have to do it once. Right, when someone buys this product, here's the action, right? It's a digital asset, it's a course, things like that. And it can automatically do it every time someone buys this, whether it's from your course page, from one of your funnels, from somewhere on your site, all these different places, these purchases can now be made uh, and it'll automatically take care of the, the back end for you. And while it's not here yet, you can see they're going to be adding collections so you can bundle and do all the things like that. They're adding discounts, coupon codes, all that fun stuff that was another problem people had before. Uh, inventory management, all these things are, but uh, 
on the docket. And I don't, I don't know the exact timeline for a lot of these, uh, but obviously coming. Okay, now as we move on, I do want to pause once again. Uh, there are bonuses just for signing up for the free event that's happening next week where they'll actually help you build your first funnel inside of ClickFunnels 2.0. So if you're interested in that, you can go ahead and click below. There's some really good ones. We're giving you some access to some really cool stuff that I've never showed people before. Uh, my favorite one being a new side hustle that uh, we're launching here, uh, or we launched, sorry, about two months ago. The side hustle went from zero to about $2,000 a month in two months. And I didn't use my audience or anything to do it. So uh, we're giving people access to that who sign up this week for ClickFunnels 2.0. So that's big and a couple other bonuses as well. So if you're interested, go ahead and click that document um, and we'll keep moving through this uh, as we go. The other major thing that I really wanted to focus on um, besides the funnels and the sites and all that fun stuff is workflows. And, and workflows is essentially uh, the email marketing portion of it. And here there has been massive improvements. I think they've taken some uh, pointers from Active Campaign, which is my favorite email marketing software, and really tried to uh, really make this a visual thing for us to be able to see what people are doing. So you can see here, um, this is a, a workflow or an, an email workflow essentially. When you come in here, it, it looks uh, it looks the way we want it to look, right? We have triggers, and then the triggers trigger things. So after they're triggered, we can do all these things. We can send them to funnels. We can delay. Uh, we can tag them. Uh, notify, right? Uh, webhook, enroll them in courses, all this fun stuff. Essentially, it's it's built much more the way email marketers think, where um, we've got all these different triggers, and the triggers can be they go to your blog post. So if ClickFunnels can track that, right? Hey, someone ended up on your blog post who we know, boom, we can trigger this. Or someone went to this page and they were looking at buying this product, but they didn't. Boom, we can have a trigger that says, hey, we saw you're interested in this. You know, what what do we need to do to, to make you, to push you over the edge here on this purchase? Um, and I really love the triggers because they're building everything into one platform now, right? They're, we're, they're able to get more information on your customers and then they're able to help you uh, essentially trigger a lot of uh, different kinds of marketing and stuff based on how your customers are interacting with the pages, the blog pages, the funnel pages, the home pages, all this fun stuff. But overall, the way your email marketing can now work really directly with your uh, with your funnels and your marketing, other marketing efforts. I really like that and other platforms have kind of started to go that way as well. And I love that ClickFunnels saw that and they're adding, um, they're, they're, they're really improving the email marketing so that you can keep it in-house and be able to make those two work really well together. And then last, a lot of improvements in the analytics and the reporting. So before, you know, you'll remember ClickFunnels gave you analytics that look something like this, uh, kind of a, a bare bones dashboard that would give you a, a somewhat decent idea of what's happening inside your funnel. Um, but now that's just the overview section and they actually have a, a deep reporting section where you can go in and get a lot deeper reports. You can see uh, a lot deeper, uh, you know, a lot better information on different funnels, different things that are happening inside of your entire business, right? If, if it's actually running inside of ClickFunnels, um, subscriptions, all that fun stuff. The last place where I think a lot of people struggled with 1.0 was uh, payments. Uh, we, we didn't have PayPal really natively or didn't work very well. Um, we had to have third party plugins and stuff. And so they've made that easier from what I understand, but they're actually using, it's not built directly into ClickFunnels. They're using something called payments.ai and you set up an account on payments.ai and then if I understand it correctly, you can now, you can tie PayPal and Stripe and everything into that and then you just have one hub that kind of does it all for you. Now, I looked around, I don't know what payments.ai is. I couldn't find any information out there on payments.ai and so I assume that ClickFunnels either created this or purchased this and this is going to be kind of their in-house product for taking payments. And then it just it's an integration that works inside of ClickFunnels. And that's how it goes. That's how they decided to go about doing that. All right, so we got about a minute or two left. Uh, I'm overall really, really happy. I, I think that they're absolutely going the right direction. However, this is a software launch. Software launches, I don't know any software launches that don't come with bugs and don't come with things that are missing and features that are still coming and stuff like that. And so um, I would totally expect and be ready for in the next 30, 60, 90 days, there to be bugs and kinks that are worked out as they onboard you know, hundreds of thousands of users, potentially, uh, they'll see a lot of stuff come up. Um, and so for me, I'm signing for a trial, starting to slowly move my business over. I'm not taking my entire business and dumping it over into ClickFunnels 2.0 overnight. Um, but I am kind of slowly starting to do that and over the next 30, 60 days, see where we line up and where, where we land with everything. And then uh, it's, it's, it's a massive improvement on ClickFunnels 1.0. And so I think it's a no brainer to move over. Again, guys, all my bonuses down below if you want to get signed up for this and get access to some really cool stuff as well, free trainings on um, how to drive massive traffic to your funnels, which is really the one thing missing when you sign up for ClickFunnels is how to actually get a bunch of traffic to these uh, really well-crafted funnels that you can build and that's where I specialize. 
Um, so if you want to get access to things like my paid mastermind, you know, people have paid $2,500 to get into this and you get access to the recordings of those events for free. Uh, we'll leave links down below to sign up for this and we'll get those over to you. Uh, any, any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll dig in, talk to people, see if we can figure out uh, what they are and stuff like that. Let me know your thoughts overall on 2.0 and uh, excited to kind of see where they go with this. 